Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3 Season 3. So the final week of the weekly challenges is out and one of the final rewards is the squad game variant. And it's for the BP-50. Loving this variant. I'm loving the different shades of blue. It looks very nice. It's for the BP-50. The challenges aren't that hard. The only challenge is where you have to get kills with an aftermarket part from this season. You have to get 3 triple kills with the Jack Warden for the MK2 and get 15 kills with the Jack Cutthroat stock. Now that stock you can only use on four guns but i did these five challenges they're easy enough and obviously to get the jack wardens you need to do these challenges from week five and for the cutthroat you have to do week three's challenges and yeah that's pretty much it we're going to get into some gameplay and as always guys if you are new around here be sure to like and subscribe for more here's my bp50 class you got the magazine the optic the recoil and damage range attachments the ads speed and aim walking movement speed and that's pretty much it these are the perks i always use the reload is a bit slow so switch to mag holster if it's too slow for you guys but that's pretty much it and yeah guys enjoy the video all right so this is what the variant looks like very nice i love that it's a blue variant i don't know if this is meant to be task force 141 on the side it's obviously soldiers my god it looks cool I don't know what it is, but the BP-50 is feeling good today. Speaking of the BP-50, I've already recorded a video before this one yesterday. I'm going to be comparing the BP-50. You know, the assault rifle version of this gun. I'm going to be comparing it to the BP-50 aftermarket part because it turns it into an SMG. I'm going to compare the AR and SMG version. It was an interesting video to make. But yeah, what do you guys think of this final variant reward? I'm really liking this one. Obviously, tomorrow's video on Friday is going to be the new camo. You can get for doing all of the weekly challenges for this season season two's camo was definitely better but they've actually revealed what season four's weekly challenge camo will be at the end it's a green one and it looks very good it looks a lot better than this season's one I honestly can't wait for season 4, man. The Car 98K is going to be so good. I can just tell. <laughs> People on this game are funny. So X Defiant is out now and the servers are actually working. I've played a few games of it today. I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit hard to get used to. And oh my god, the settings. I have no idea what I'm doing with the settings. But what I will say is after playing only a few games... I didn't even play 10 games of it. I came back to this game. My aim was completely destroyed. My aim was so bad. I'm not going to give up on it straight away, obviously. Well, it's going to take a bit of time to figure that game out. I will say sniping is pretty hard on there. Done. The maps on Next Defiant, they are pretty big, but they do play well and they are very colourful. The only thing I'll complain about with the maps is that I did say they are a bit big. Some of them are a bit hard to navigate, but then again not even played that many games but i definitely think people should give it a chance okay guys that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed like i always say if you are new around here be sure to like and subscribe for more and i will see you on the next video